Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to measure weight. Okay, tell me. Do you ever feel that today your lunch box is lighter or heavier than the other days? We often compare weights of things like you may say your bag is heavier than your friend's bag. You may say popcorn is as light as cotton. But when we want to buy vegetables, we cannot tell the vendor I want capsicum lighter than this cauliflower or I want a pumpkin as heavy as this cabbage. So what do we do? Now when you are buying a pumpkin, you can buy a heavy one. But we don't need all the things in the same quantity like when buying chili, we buy it in a small quantity. We don't buy pulses as much as rice or wheat. So, when we buy different things in different quantities, we must ensure that we buy things according to our needs. Correct? Generally, your mother knows how much vegetables, rice, wheat, etc. are needed for all in the family. Like, she buys 10 kg of rice or wheat. But, only 3 or 4 kgs of pulses or dal and maybe only 200 grams of chili. You know this kilogram and gram are the units of weight. Your parents have a good understanding of weights of things and that is why they know how much is needed. So if we have an idea of weights of things, we would know about our needs in a better way and things will not get wasted. Kilogram is the standard unit of weight. We write kg to express kilogram in short like 2 kg. Same way we write gm to express gram in short like 500 gm. So how do we measure the weight? Some vendors like the one selling vegetables use a common balance and different metallic weights. They keep the thing that we wish to buy on one side and the required quantity of weight on the other side and balance them equally. Say for example, we wish to buy 2 kgs of potatoes then a metallic weight equal to 2 kgs is kept on one side and the potatoes are kept on the other side. The potatoes are added or may be removed until both the sides of the balance are equal. At a sweet shop, you may see a different type of balance to weigh the sweets. Look, this is an electronic weighing balance. We just keep the things on them and they show the weight of the thing on a small screen. There are different types of metallic weights. You may want to buy 100 grams of tomatoes. Vendors keep a metallic weight of 100 grams on one side of the balance and on the other side of the balance he keeps tomatoes and then he balances both the weight and the tomatoes equally. Now there can be a metallic weight for each and everything we weigh. So, what is the solution? Your mother tells you to buy 1 kilogram of potato. Hey, look, the vendor keeps 2500 grams weight on the balance to weigh the potatoes. But, you want to buy 1 kg of potato. You know, 500 gram plus 500 gram is equal to 1000 grams. He is right because 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. So 2 times 500 grams make 1 kg. We can say half kg is equal to 500 grams. Thus metallic weights are available in different weights like 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams, 1 kg, 2 kg, 5 kg, etc. So, 
the metallic weights can be used according to the requirement and also the combination of metallic weights can be used to get a certain weight now 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so we can use different weights to measure 1 kg like if we use 100 grams of weight then we know 1000 grams divided by 100 grams is equal to 10 so 10 hundred grams weights are needed to make 1 kg correct now if we wish to use 200 grams weight then how can we get 1 kg 1000 grams divided by 200 grams is equal to 5 so 5 200 gram weights are needed to make 1 kg so there are various units of weight but why is it so when we buy vegetables sweets etc we may buy 500 grams 400 grams or even 1000 grams but when we buy rice wheat etc we buy in bigger quantities it would be like 20,000 grams or 12,000 grams this would be difficult to say or remember as they are such big numbers this is the reason why we have bigger units of weight like kilogram 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram so 15,000 gram means 15,000 divided by 1000 which is 15 kg but when we buy precious metals like gold or silver people buy in smaller quantities they may even buy less than a gram you know the medicines we take contain very little quantity or traces of chemicals as too much of any chemical can be harmful so for measuring very small weights like this we have milligram you know one gram is equal to thousand milligrams so we have just the right units for measuring very small weights to the bigger weights like thousand milligram is equal to one gram for example we may buy 600 milligrams of gold 1000 gram equal to 1 kg for example 12 kilograms of rice kilogram is the standard unit of weight that is all for now bye bye children